Hello everyone, welcome to Chessvisor, your wise choice to improve your chess. In today's video, I'm going to show you a game between uh, Magnus Carlsen and Pregnananda and this game was played in uh, Air Things Most Preliminary Day 2, round number 8. And uh, here, the white pieces were handled by Magnus Carlsen and the black was handled by the uh, Pregnananda. So without much delay, we will uh, start the game. So before that, uh, if you are new here, consider subscribing to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the future videos. So here Magnus opened the game with a d4 and Prague replied knight f6, the universal reply. So from that, uh, we can go or we can transpose into any kind of defense. That's why I say knight f6 is an universal reply. So after c4, gaining more space in the center, uh, Prague goes e6 and then knight f3, d5 striking in the center. Now it's kind of transposed into the queen's gambit decline. And after knight c3, now again there is a transposed uh, position now. The c5 called uh, uh, the what is that Taras defense, right? So semi Taras defense, and then e3 uh, defending in the center and also opening the bishop's eyes. When when black tries to capture on c4, we will we'll go ahead and capture with the bishop. So knight c6, c takes d5, e takes d5. There is a, a change in the pawn structure in the center. So after bishop to b5, uh, putting the knight in a pin. Here immediately uh, Prague took the pawn on d4. So here uh, Magnus has the option of capturing the uh, pawn with the knight so that the, he will have the pawn majority in the king side and also that will leave you know the isolated queen's pawn situation for the black. But here he went with the other move that is e takes d4 keeping the position as, as a symmetry one. Uh, bishop to d6, castles, castles, h3, h6 stopping both the bishops so rook e1. Uh, bishop f5 developing another piece into the game so knight to e5 so putting a uh, wonderful knight in the central square so that is knight, a very good move for uh, magnus so after rook to c8 adding one more defender to the knight uh, bishop f4 adding one more uh, defender to the knight so rook e8 and then uh, rook c1 so uh, rook goes to the semi open file and the open files so queen b6 and then bishop takes c6 b takes c6 and then knight a4 now the queen is under attack and also now you can see the weakness on c6 that's the whole idea of the transaction the last transaction and the pawn is already being attacked by the knight but the thing is we cannot take it immediately because our own bishop is hanging so that uh, that that all the things uh, he has to consider when when he takes on c6 so now he plays knight a4 to attack the queen so queen goes to a6 and counter attacks the bishop i mean it is not a counter attack just keeping an eye on the uh, or keeping the pressure on the knight so that the queen has the responsibility to take care of knight and also we are defending the c6 point so after rook e3 uh, either it's an excellent move because uh, the rook lift uh, uh, it, it will also it will also help to attack the king from uh, g3 or we can always switch to c3 because of our weakness so knight e4 putting the knight in on a wonderful square that is uh, similar to the what magnus did earlier so here uh, probably magnus got annoyed by this centralized knight and he played f3 that's not the right way to pl play the position but still he played the knight uh, but it creates a lot of weaknesses around the king that's the whole uh, uh, that's a hole around the black king and and that will uh, that will create more impact in the game so later so knight g5 so the knight is just uh, eyeing some important squares in the king side rook e c3 queen b7 bishop s2 defending the bishop because the bishop was hanging for some time so knight e6 uh, now the the knight is attacking this pawn and also it is ready to jump jumping into the f4 square it's an excellent post for knight so after knight takes c6 now prague lost one pawn but here he has the opportunity to play uh, okay he played knight f4 but the be best way to play the position is to uh, you, you know simply exchange the bishop so bishop takes h2 and then king takes h2 after knight f4 uh, black is better let's see why black is better uh, now now white has to drop the knight back so knight e5 so magnus dropped the knight to i mean in case of uh, they went into the this line magnus has to drop the uh, knight into e5 so rook takes c3 rook takes c3 f6 kicking the knight away so knight to g4, rook e2. This is the whole idea of knight f4 point. So after knight e3, defending everything. Now actually white is the one who is trying to defend the position. Now we can 
uh, we can go queen to d7 uh, maybe some sacrificial idea on uh, maybe h3 so the line continues with knight c5 and then queen e8 knight takes f5 and then rook takes g2 and the mate cannot be stopped so after king h1 queen to h4 threatening the mate so pawn to h4 and then queen takes f5 threatening the mate the other way so we cannot stop the mate let's say queen to g1 and then queen h3 check queen h2 and then finally queen takes h2 is a checkmate uh, but uh, this is not uh, exactly what happened in the game uh, but the thing is he went knight f4 so instead of that uh, critical bishop takes h2 uh, but he played knight f4 so knight e5 uh, the same line but without the move bishop takes h2 so bishop takes e5 uh, instead of playing the f6 move because it is going to weaken the light squares right so he simply took the knight with the bishop so bishop takes e5 d takes e5 knight to d3 now the knight is very strong uh, you may think of capturing the knight but in the end we will be hanging our rook and it, that is coming with a check so we we don't have the option of capturing both the pieces on d3 so rook takes c8 first rook takes c8 that uh, yeah so every rook has been exchanged now so queen takes c8 bishop to g3 and then pawn to d4 now as you can see there is one extra pawn for them uh, magnus carlson but still uh, magnus has to be very very careful why because the knight is very active and it is completely dominating in the white's camp and uh, he has to keep an eye on b2 and we have also weakness but the thing is we have 2 to 1 majority the magnus is having 2 to 2 to 1 majority on the queen side that's the only hope for magnus now but uh, uh, black's black's uh, pieces are very active okay so let's see what uh, uh, what what the game uh, continued so b3 and then queen c6 queen to d2 king h7 king h2 bishop to g6 and then queen to a5 queen to c1 so now magnus is targeting the uh, prague's weaknesses uh, on the other hand prague is just directly going going after the king so queen c7 and then he went after the pawn that's not uh, not the right way to play the position actually because uh, black can create so many threats in the position that, uh, that you are going to see now so queen e3 so the idea is very simple uh, he wants to checkmate the white king so he wants to move the move the knight and then the pawn is rolling so here uh, magnus played another tactical move that is knight c3 because we cannot take the uh, piece because your queen is own queen is hanging if you go down this line c2 bishop f4 and then even if you get the queen no problem because we can simply sack everything on c1 and we will be a uh, we will be three pawns up against the uh, bishop and the three pawns so we are completely winning so he did not capture the knight rather he played knight f4 so the idea is very simple again uh, here actually uh, white can take the bishop but that is not recommended so still uh, he played knight to d1 attacking the queen so queen goes to d2 now threatens a mate knight f2 blocking the checkmating pattern i mean checkmating idea so knight e2 now the bishop is threatened so after uh, he played h4 trying to escape the king so queen goes to e1 after queen to d7 knight takes g3 the thing is uh, you cannot take the knight uh, because of the following move so queen takes e5 check it is coming with the check and then king h3 and then we can play bishop f5 check and win the uh, queen and the game so so he he did not play that variation i mean he, he, he could not take the piece so he played queen takes d4 now we are a piece up uh, but still you know uh, we have to be very very careful from the black's perspective so after knight f1 check king h3 uh, knight goes to e3 now the thing is we have to go to uh, g1 we have, we, uh, we can try to mate the king on g2 but the knight would be hanging that is also we have to take into the consideration so after queen to b2 uh, the idea is very simple he wants to defend the second rank but he played wonderful obstruction move here that is bishop to c2 <laughs> so wonderful move because you cannot stop the mate now so let's say the queen goes to d4 and we can simply play queen takes f2 so your knight is hanging right so if you try the other move we are going to simply play the queen g1 queen to g2 mate so simply i am giving pass moves for white so queen d4 queen takes uh, queen takes f2 let's say queen f4 and then queen takes g2 is a checkmate so it's a really a big win for uh, prague prague after the you know so it was not the 
good start for him so but he uh, won a game against the world champion so what do you think about this game let me know your ideas thoughts in the comment section below if you like this video give it a thumbs up and also do not forget to share with others and still if you have not subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button the chess visor your wise choice to improve your chess